Well, we love to kick it with Kenny here on Fox 8, but we also love to kick it for charity. It's all about raising money for childhood cancer research. Here's Gabe with a very special trending segment for us tonight. Yeah, Gabe. cool stuff tonight. Yeah. Right now at First Energy Stadium, there's a heated competition underway. No, it's not the Browns and Steelers. That hasn't uh. been heated in the years, let's be frank. <laughs> it's kickballers fighting for the title. Joining us live is Kathy Welsh, from Kick It, the new program, to explain this new program for us. Uh, Kathy, thanks so much for joining us. Tell us about what's going on behind you. We've got a heated competition of kickballers back there. We do. Welcome to our Cleveland Kicks It 2018. This is actually our ninth year here that we've been doing the Kick It tournament in town. And we have 21 corporate teams competing for the best kickball team in Cleveland. And there's a god-awful trophy to win and a rubber chicken to avoid. <laughs> Hi, this is Jennifer Kathy. Thanks so much for joining us. Kick It has partnered with Alex's Lemonade Stand. Explain that and the critical need for funds for research at this moment. Well, thank you. Yes, pediatric cancer is severely underfunded. I don't think people realize the lack of funding that goes towards kids. And we're talking everything from babies to adolescent, young adult. And Alex's Lemonade and the Kick It program, Kick It was actually started right here, guys, as a fundraising program for Flashes of Hope. Um, so Kick It's been around since 2009, but we've been co-funding with our friends at Alex's Lemonade for the last years. And just last May, partnered with them to reach, have a further reach for the Kick It program. So we are thrilled and love our friends at Alex's. Uh, Kathy, it is really a tremendous program. And I'm, as I'm listening to you talk, I'm, li I'm wondering how can people get involved in it? Well, there, you can go to kickit.org, okay, and that's the website where we host. Basically, they can reach out and they can contact me. Anyone can play a kickball game. It doesn't have to be the knockdown drag out we see behind us at um, for, uh, First Energy Stadium. It can be a backyard. And there's basically, Lou, it's just like um, doing a walk or a race. Instead of playing, doing walking, you're basically playing kickball and you're asking people to sponsor you to play your kickball game. And this event is an annual event, so corporate teams in Cleveland can contact me and get on the docket for next year. This is a really great time. The teams here today raised close to $100,000. Wow. And wow, this event right. alone, in the years we've been doing it, we've raised, just with Cleveland Kicks It, the corporate event has raised over half a million. Kick It itself has raised five million. Uh, so we're pretty jacked about the kick oh, program. Yeah. Kathy, uh, clearly you got a lot of heated <laughs> competition there behind you, but there, there are all sorts of kick it events all around Northeast Ohio over the next couple of weeks. And again, you're encouraging folks to get out there. You don't have to be a professional soccer player. You don't have to be that coordinated <laughs> yeah. to play. You just, you just got to have, have the desire to have some fun. Right. And at the end of the day, this does get really competitive. I think people go back to third grade when they start playing kickball. But it's really about kids with cancer and raising the research dollars, and that's what's most important. So at the end of the day, when this is all settled down, that's why I'm smiling, because we raise a lot of money today. Well, Kathy, I yeah, just looking at your face and seeing that smile, I mean, what does this mean to you? <laughs> See that hot? Yeah, well, it is hot, <laughs> I know that. But to everybody else who gets involved, it's just a great feeling inside, isn't it? It is. You know what? It is. It's such a feel good. These teams, I had the West in here actually fundraise their fee. So guys, it's $5,000 to submit a corporate team. And sometimes you get a company check that just covers the team fee. Then I have teams like the West in Cleveland who they fundraise their way in. I mean, he emailed me last night. He's like, Kath, they had a pie in the face contest and they got to 5005 so uh, it's wow. awesome to see people put the effort in. Congratulations. Right? You got to love it. Mm -hmm. Nine years strong and, and just getting stronger by the year. Kathy Welsh, thanks so much for uh, joining us and uh, best of luck to you and to yes. all the, the participants this summer. Thanks, at the guys. Organizations. Congratulations. Yeah, I'm thinking, Thanks, uh, guys. All of us need to get heavily involved yeah. in that. What a what a fantastic uh, project that is. Tell you about this too. It's a lot of fun for us, and certainly well worthwhile as well. Sixth annual Fox 8 Fox Drop presented by your Northern Ohio Honda dealers happening Saturday, September 8th at the Rock Hall Plaza. All the proceeds there go to. Alex's Lemonade Stand Foundation to help the fight against childhood cancer. That's right, and if you want to raise money by hosting your own neighborhood lemonade stand, we want to help. Pick a weekday between 4 p.m. and 7 p.m., and Fox 8 may feature you on TV and on social media. Just go to fox8.com and follow the links to register your lemonade stand. It's just another way we can all fight childhood cancer one cup at a time.